Hey, Dr. Berg here. I want to cover a, a point on um, the thyroid and the menstrual cycle and pregnancy. What is the relationship between all three of those? Um, if you ever talk to someone who has a hypothyroid, um, ask them what their period's like. And it's usually going to be either pretty heavy, crampy, uh, excessive bleeding. And the reason why that is related is because that heavy period is an estrogen dominant situation and then high estrogen actually inhibits or blocks the thyroid gland. The same exact thing with pregnancy as well. So when, when a female gets pregnant, the estrogen goes up and the thyroid goes down and even some women that are borderline a hypothyroid, they end up with a pretty severe hy uh, hypothyroid. And even women that are hypothyroid going in the pregnancy have to take more of the medication because of this situation. So it's all about this estrogen situation. So now how do we kind of bring this back here? Do we support the thyroid? Do you take more medication? I'm going to recommend that you support um, more natural type um, environmental things like, like avoid any type of soy in the diet. Make sure that you're not uh, having hidden soy in, uh, in some of the diet foods, prepackaged foods and soy milk. Uh, just stay away from soy. And then the other thing is that um, cruciferous is a very anti-estrogenic food that you could take. Um, this is a concentrate of all the cruciferous foods that are, will help clean up some of the liver with estrogen. And then the other thing that, I, that you could do is take uh, ovary support for an overactive ovary if, if it is a cycle uh, because this tends to help the period um, be more regular, less intense, less bleeding because it supports the glands. So those are the two things that may help you that you might want to consider. But I just wanted to show you the relationship between this darn estrogen and hypothyroid. And especially if you're frustrated and you're trying to figure it out, you have to kind of look more lateral and there's other possibilities. So that's the tip of today and I'll see you in the next video.